In the last video, I showed you text field, text area, and drop list. Now we're going to look at list box, checkbox, radio button, submit button, and how to fake a feedback form. So let's put the list box here. This means that all of our options are available to see um, on the page. So if I double click on that, again, we can add individual entries or edit many. Let's just edit many. And here I'm gonna ask people what their favorite animals are. So I might have cat, dog, fish, horse, okay. And you can allow them to select multiple items in this case. A drop down menu, you can only pick one. Uh, with this, they could hold the shift key down and select more than one. Uh, let's shrink the size of that so it's not excessively long. And we will add a, whoops, we'll add a label again. Um, and we'll say, what is your fate? Oh, goodness, fate. <laughs> Favourite, having real problems typing. What is your favourite animal? Great. Now we want to add a checkbox. So we might want to know, okay, these are your favourite animals. How many do you own? So I'm going to drag a checkbox over and we're just going to use the same entries. So cat, dog, Oops, that's not really aligned very well. Let's line it up. There we go. Fish. And let's see if we can line all these. There we go. Horse. Okay. And again, we'll just grab a little label here. Um, which animals do you own? Okay. Now, I'll just preview this. And you can see how this is working so far. I can select one of those. I can select all of them by holding the shift key down. Which animals do you own? This allows me to click multiple entries and to deselect, I just click it again. That stands in contrast to the radio button. Um, so I might ask the question, do you like animals? Uh, and one of the answers will be yes and the other answer will be no. And let's go and find our label again. Okay, now if I leave that as is and go to preview, we run into a problem where I can click on both of them and there's no way to deselect anything. And that's because I haven't assigned them to a radio button group. Let's go back to Axia and we'll do that right now. I select yes, right click, and you can see here we've got assign radio group. And we will call this uh, like hyphen animals. Okay. And then if I select the other buttons in the group, I right click assign radio group, and then I choose the group like animals. So they belong to the same group now. And so if I preview this now and zoom in, I can select one of them. And then if I select the other, it will deselect the other one. So you can only select one of those buttons. And that is how a radio button works. So lastly, I'm going to create a submit button. So I'll scroll back up in my widget library and just find a button here. Uh, I can drag that to the bottom and I will double click that and call that submit. Now, interestingly, you can do your form very, very well. And uh, each of these inputs, right click, and you see how it's got a sign submit button. And you can choose what button is used to submit particular things. Um, and so that, that will take you quite a while to do all of these things. Um, it's worth checking out the settings when you right click because if you have a look at this, you can see we can also align the checkboxes left or right. Um, this will pre-select those if you click on it while um, you're in the design mode there. Um, 
The last thing I want to show you is how we can fake up a feedback form. And that's quite simple. You just choose your submit button and we're going to create an interaction. So we go into the inspector pane of the interactions. We'll use the common interaction of on click open link. And then we just choose our feedback page and click OK. Let's test this out. Preview. Um, I can enter my name here. Enter a message. Choose my favourite fruit. Actually, I like bananas better. Um, I can select the animals that I like. If I hold the shift key down, oh, not shift key, sorry, command key. Shift key will select absolutely everything between them. Uh, I can click on whatever animals I own here and say do I like animals and then click the submit button and it takes us through to the feedback form. So that is how to create a form in Axia RP.